In this video, we're gonna be looking at Drake's old vocal chain to see if it'll work for you or what we can learn. This is a picture of the Drake Headlines final mix, the 40 mix of the song Headlines. This is a old song. As you can see, all the tracks in here, everything's routed. We see Drake's vocals right here. We see the Ox tracks here. See how everything is organized. And you can see they mix to the track outs. These are the stems, so the whole instrumental. They did not mix to a two track, so keep that in mind. If you wanna read what they did with the strings and the keyboards and everything, you can read that. But we're gonna focus on the vocals. What we have here is Antares Autotune, Waves 8Q, the DSer, the Renaissance EQ, the Vox Compressor, and the SSL EQ, and the Bomb Factory Pull Tech EQ, P1A, and then the Avid Smack. Look, and we continue, it says nine of the 12 Drake vocal tracks, as well as Divine Brown's vocal track had auto-tune on them. On this record, I actually tuned the raps. Drake raps in a very melodic way, which is a conscious decision on his part. I therefore hit it with some auto-tune to center the pitch a little bit, if I left it off, I'd be surprised how much people would notice. It's just a bit of pitch correction, but you can hear that it's perfect, which is abnormal, of course. After the auto-tune, it's looking like he put the Waze Q8 EQ on Drake 1, and the Waze DSer, and the RE6, and the RVox, and the Pull Tech, and the Smack plugin on the Drake Master vocal track. So all of the plugins that they described that was on the Master Fader for Drake's vocals was this right here. And a lot of people don't get confused because they said Master Fader. The Master Fader was just the aux track that controls all of Drake's vocals. So it's a bust. So that right there. And then we got the Divine one right here. So those two are there. And then we see the rest of them. We see like the reverb and all that other shit down there. Right? Then he said, I treated all the vocals on this song as one, which is a little bit abnormal. I normally have chorus processing and verse processing and rap processing and so on. But for me, the feel of this record was a guy on stage singing the song. So it had to be coherent from the beginning to the end of the song. I set all my vocals to one bus and the drums and the music to another bus so I can balance them against each other. Just before I hit the stereo bus, then there's three more plugins on the final vocal bus, which is the R compressor, the SSL, EQ, and the Q8. So this is basically talking about what they did on the master fader. He said, there's a Waze linear phase EQ and an L2 limiter on the master bus, which I use when printing reference mixes. So even 40 prints, they don't just export out. So I take the L2 off when I send the track to mastering. And it says, this song ended up being for my doing a little bit thin, other than some good bottom end in the chorus and the bass lines that I added. But I love the fact that the vocal is really loud and in your face. I, I hate the loudness words and the artists and critics mistake loudness for quality. And I tried to stay away from it for most of Take Care. But because Headlines was a rollout single for the album, I wanted it to jump out when it came on the radio. And part of that was not having so much bottom end, which gave me the headroom to push it a bit further. As you can see, Drake's old vocal chain consisted of Waves plugins that I'm pretty sure everyone watching this video has. So it's not really the plugins. You gotta make good music. As you can see, Drake's old vocal chain had Waze plugins. I'm pretty sure you have the same plugins that they use for this Drake song. The only difference is you don't have Drake's voice. You're not 40. You're probably overthinking. So you're gonna have to figure out what to do because, because the more that I show you that it's not about the plugins or the vocal chain, you're gonna have to figure this shit out because it's on you, the artist, to make the music, get the fans that people love.